Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. We're here to talk about how to memorize the sine function. Now the sine function is a very important part in trigonometry and so there are incentives to really help you memorize it. Now, one approach is to kind of memorize the graph to kind of help you how, see visually how the sine function works. And the typical graph of a sine function is it starts out at zero and it works its way up and then it works its way down and it works and it goes the other way as well. Now, when it comes to the values of sine, it's really important for you to kind of think about it, but this is where the graph can help. Now, to start you off, think about the fact that the sine of zero, because it starts at zero, is going to give you zero. Now, because the sine has period of two pi, you know that sine of two pi is also zero. Okay? Now, for other common sine values to kind of help you memorize the sine function, think about the pole angles. So sine of pi over 2, pi over 2 is a pole, is going to equal to 1. Sine of pi is equal to 0. And sine of 3 pi over 2 is going to give you negative 1. Now these are some of the most common angles that will help you memorize the sine function. So this is a good foundation after you think about memorizing the graph. Now there's also a couple of other sine values you want to think about as well because the angles of these are so common you want to use these on a regular basis. And that is sine of pi over 6 or 30 degrees, that's going to give you 1 half. Also, sine of pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, square root of 2 over 2, and sine of pi over 3, which is 60 degrees, that's square root of 3 over 2. So after you remember these uh, common sine values, I would recommend going over these as well because these are such common angles and everyday angles that you want to work with in trigonometry and beyond that would definitely be your best interest to memorize these. So to memorize the sine function, I recommend, I recommend looking at the graph first, then these polar angles, and then these common angles as well. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some tips on how to memorize the sine function.